All right, folks, welcome back. We're gonna keep getting after the old John Deere here. We're gonna replace, not replace, we're gonna inspect and clean. That did not work like I wanted it to. Round two. We're going to inspect and clean the cabin air filters, or the AC filters. It is my understanding that they are washable. You need to take out the floor mat. I've already cleaned out the inside of the cab. I've grabbed us a 12 and a 13. It appears we need the 13. Apparently the HVAC system lives under the floor here. Oh, we need to, I wonder if we need to take out this floor mat too. That one's a little bit more of a piss pot to get out of here. But not a lot more, a little bit more. Kind of just make sure I know your pedals here. Come on, baby. There we go. So that's to the side. No mercy reversey. Whoa. Almost lost that down in no man's land. Now this one has a plastic washer on it. The other one did not. Well, if that means anything. I don't remember it saying to take out that bolt. Or oh, I'm thinking this has never been separated. According to service data, we remove these two bolts. And then it says to remove the floor is an assembly. It only showed removing those two bolts. Just kind of want to see what it feels like here. Doesn't feel super wiggly, my guy. Let's just crack the seal loose here. I'm thinking this is this girl's first time. Oh, look at that. Comes right out as an assembly. I don't know what it looks like over here. Hopefully there's no scary things. Okay. Set this thing up, right? Okay. We have to do a little vacuuming. Looks like uh, not too bad. So here's one filter, and apparently there's another one here on the side on each side. Before I go yank on these, well, never mind. This one's just kind of floating around down here. There's that one. There's that one. And here is this one. So, uh, like the engine air filter, these have definitely been over maintained. <laughs> uh, wow. So, it looks like our evaporator core lives in here in the front of the box, and then our heater core lives back here. The blend doors do function on this. I have. Uh, you know, swap them from, you know, for defrost, I guess they call it, but they all just kind of blow out the bottom, but it does change function, so that part of it works, but we're going to take and blow out this heater box. It's going to get dusty in here, but let me go wash these out. These are just like the ones on your home, you know, if you got a window shaker in the trailer, same thing, you know, it's got the, just little screens we're going to wash out here. for a minute. Turn the key on. Let's 
turn the blower motor on. Just want to make sure it wasn't vibrating or doing any, anything funny. Make sure there's nothing stuck in the squirrel cage here. Sounds like on video, but it sounds okay in real life. I just took and rinsed the filters out. The foam on them's kind of old. It's still holding up. There's a couple little pieces missing. I blew them out very gently with the uh, air compressor. We're gonna put the foam side towards the box and see if we can't slip it in. Pretty snug back here. Not gonna lie. Uh, I can't see that bottom track. Oh, I see. The bottom track runs the entire length of the box. So I guess you've got to kind of manipulate it in there while slipping it in the top one. And this guy completely missed all of the bottom track. No wonder that one on the inside wasn't in all the way. I don't know if I can get my finger down here far enough to... Try it like this. We'll try rotating it down in. See if we can hit that bottom track. Feels like I did because it definitely feels something. Let me get a light. Can't make proper excuses if you can't see. Oh, now I can see. I don't know if that's helpful at all. I wonder. Are they flexible this way? A little bit. Too much of that dust, boy. Let's see if we can't get that in the bottom. Are you in? You are not. Well, much more complicated than I thought it was going to be. There we go. Bottom one's in. Top one's in. Oh, it has one in the back, too. Wow. Oh, okay. I can feel that one with my fingers. And that one's in. Wow, there's no hope for getting this guy in. <laughs> This one's in all the way. I'm confident of that, we can see it. Even if you can't, you're gonna have to believe me. The top one, this thing's a piece of cake. Let's, let's gain some confidence by installing this one. And then you have a chance to pad this one dry yet. There, that baby's in, so that was easy. This one we've already padded dry. They go in there, they contoured the same as the box, but man alive, I don't know if we're gonna, we're gonna go, we're going all the way. Let's see if I can, I wonder if nobody changes these things. Oh baby, I think it stayed in the bottom. Yeah, it sure did. I don't know if I can... So we have some hoses that run back here. I don't know what hoses they are. They are probably part of the heater hoses that go back and snake around the back of the box. And that sucker runs right tight to the end of this HVAC box wiring harness here see if I can reach back there and feel the back of the filter so I can line it up in the back of the slot oh there it goes all the way it's in at the bottom at the top and at the back because if you don't get it in the back you can't you can't bury it you know you can't push it in deep we're good boom that was easy HVAC filter fantastic Glad we don't have to do that every week. 
we'll grab the floor and we'll slide that thing back in. So we the bottom of it, everything looks cool. good. Now we have two of the longer bolts that are in here. Don't make me cross thread you. Where's our ratchet? This little baby ratchet, I just can't tell if it's starting or not. Wow, amateur hour. Okay, it is. All right, it is a little too hard to start my hand. See, I don't know. Yeah, we don't want to snug them up all the way in case we have to wiggle a little bit. So we'll leave them a little bit loose. What we do is keep just holding this up out of our way for right now. I knew this thing was meant to be when I went to buy it because it had a fluid film key tag. Am I right? And then two different bolts here. I don't know if this is probably that factor. This is probably somebody's doing, I'm guessing. But it had one. They're both eight millimeter, but um, this one's a little bit longer with a plastic washer. Which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but we'll just put it back where we found it. We have that one. Put her in forward. Somebody at some point has given this machine the old DuPont overhaul, if you know what I mean. It's had a lot of uh, paint put on it, covering up a little bit of sin, I'm sure. One snug -a -dug -a. Two snug -a -dug -as. And we're good. So that's it, folks. That is replacing, cleaning your uh, HVAC filters on your John Deere 35. I'm going to put the rubber floors back in it, and we'll see you on the next video.